Hey everyone, Amy here, and today we are going to take this video on OneNote and compare the 10 features to Loop. We are going to determine if Loop will then be replacing OneNote in the future. That being said, let's nerd out. Feature number one are some of the views that are available to us within OneNote. So if I head on up to the view tab, then we can select dock to desktop and this just really easily allows you to have two screens open and you can even adjust them as you see fit. So if we expand that, then another view that I really like within OneNote is this new docked window. So that opens up a new window pane for us within OneNote while keeping this other one open. So, so this allows you to take notes from other note pages within OneNote. Here we are within loop and unfortunately there's no easy button to select dock to screen. So what we can do is utilize these built-in screen layouts um, with our computer software and we can just adjust it again like that. The one thing that we cannot do in loop though is open up a new page and a new window. The second feature is being able to switch to the dark mode and we can easily do that here again from the view tab within OneNote and we can just toggle between those different backgrounds. Within loop, if we want to switch to the dark mode, then we can just head on up to this ellipsis on the top right and select settings. And the first area under general is the themes and we can just toggle to the dark mode just like that. Feature number three is file printout. And this is probably one of the greater benefits of OneNote. In the insert tab, if we head on up to these files option. I've done another video here on inserting file printouts. There are a ton of options depending on the document that you have, but for this purpose, we're just going to do a Word document. It may take a moment for your document to print into OneNote, but you can see here that it's literally just printed the pages of this document into this OneNote page. So this is great for annotating documents or just you know having those visual documents there at your fingertips. One of my favorite things about this is that you can now search that document. So I'm just going to narrow this down to find on just this page. And if we type sound, for example, then you can see now that we are going to be able to search for all of the text within that file printout document. Within loop, it's a little bit more restrictive. So what we need to do is we need to share this document and we need to copy the document link. Once that's copied, then we can head on over into loop and we can just paste. That is going to paste this document from a link here so you can easily access the document from loop, but just note that you can't easily annotate it like you can within OneNote. Feature number four is adding a quick note. So from the view tab within OneNote, under window, you can select new quick note. Alternatively, you can go control shift M. This is going to bring up your quick note window. And if you are enjoying this video, then I would really love it if you could give this video a thumbs up. There we go. So now that we've added our quick note in order to access that quick note so that you can, you know, take action on it later, just head on up to your notebooks. And the one that you're going to open is the one that is your personal OneNote that is associated with your OneDrive. So there we go. There is our quick note that we've just created in OneNote. So within loop, a quick note is actually called an idea and that can be added from this top left-hand side on the navigation menu. As you can see, when we hover over it, that little plus sign appears. So I'm going to click on that. And here we are, this takes us to our idea. And if you you know, have an idea about OneNote versus Loop, then please just add that in the comments below or feel free to ask me any questions. Now, the one thing that I really like about ideas is that when you are on this idea page, you can add it to a workspace. So if I want to add this to my YouTube videos, then you'll see here that it is adding that page to my workspace so that I can easily access it later. Then we can head on over to that workspace and we can head on over to YouTube videos. You'll see here that that idea is now added at the top and I can just easily drag that down to whichever section I want it to go. Feature number five is to format the background. So here we are in OneNote and under that draw tab, we have that edit section and we can select format background. This is going to give us a bunch of different options. So you have ruled lines, grids, and etc. So really this is going to be if you are using that hand taking note feature of OneNote, which we know is not available within loop. Each number six is ink to text. So here we are within OneNote and under this draw tab here, you'll see that I have neatly written out in my beautiful handwriting, subscribe. 
And so if we select this lasso select tool, just select our text. I really just want to emphasize that you want to make sure that you go all the way around so that you can select everything. Once you have all of your text selected, then we can head on up to ink to text. There is this also this ink to math button here, which isn't really covered in this video, but I did just want to highlight it because it is a cool feature. So heading back to the ink to text, if we just click that, then you can see that that turns our beautiful handwriting into nice and neat text that we can easily read and we can also even easily search it. So you can see here that just by typing that within the search bar, then it can now detect that as regular text. And this draw feature within OneNote is a really great differentiator between both Loop and OneNote because none of these features are available within Loop. Feature number seven is some shortcut keys. I'm not going to bore you with this within OneNote or within Loop, but what I will show you is, you know, if you are in OneNote, then if you want to, you know, do a table, then you can start to type your text and then tab. That's all you need to do is press that tab button. And now a table has automatically appeared and you can just create more rows and columns like that. Here we are within loop. And if you want to add a table within loop, then you are just going to press that forward slash button to insert. And you'll see here that the first option is a table, super handy, but it also is a fast track to all of these other options, such as a numbered list and so on. Feature number eight is tags it's within OneNote. So here we are on my tags tab and under the home ribbon, if we select this drop down, then I can just insert a to do tag here. If I want to star this text as important, then I can easily do that and we can just do a quick question and then this one we can even add a outlook task so i'll make that do for today the other great thing about OneNote is this find tags button at the top here so if we select that then here we can search by all of our tag names and even at the bottom one of my favorite things is this create a summary page and this is going to pull your tags from everywhere within your OneNote. And you can see just like that, we have a nice summary slide of all of those different tags that you need to do within OneNote. And just for a full circle demonstration purposes here, we are now within my Outlook tasks and we can see that test Outlook task that I just added within OneNote. And if I complete that here, here we can see back in OneNote that that now Outlook task is showing as a check mark because it is complete. So they do sync really well together. Here we are within loop and I think that this is one of my favorite things about loop is if we do the forward slash then we can search for a task list and this is really great if you are you know working on a project and you want to assign a bunch of tasks to the team so here we're going to go test loop task here we can assign it to the team member depending on the people that are in your workspace you can even uh, assign your employees or your coworkers, which is awesome and then we will even just easily select a due date so let's just click on april 17th here we are within the to do section within outlook and under the plan section or the assign to me we can see that test loop task. Feature number nine is templates. So here we are within OneNote and we are under the insert tab. And if we head on over to the pages, we can insert some page templates. So if you select that, there's gonna be some of your recent templates selected. But if you head on over to this right navigation menu that has now populated, then you can search for the different templates. So for example purposes, let's add a personal meeting notes. And you can see here that this creates an awesome template that you can use for note taking within OneNote. Here we are within loop and I love the templates that are here. If we select add new page, then we can just quickly select a new page. And at the bottom here, we have some, you know, maybe of some of your recent templates or we have this template gallery. And you can see here that there are 24 templates to choose from and they are just so like vibrant and colorful. And I really just love the layout and all the little icons here. They just really create a nice visual effect. You can even see here that this like has the team members already in it, uh, project deliverable. So this is that task table that we just went through. And then as well as a section for some relevant links. So take a browse through here. You're going to find some templates that are your favorite. I'm just going to select use this template and there we go. Look how beautiful that is.
Feature number 10 is Smart Lookup. So here we are within OneNote, and if we want to highlight any text, here I've highlighted some multiple words, then we can head up to the Review tab and then select Smart Lookup. This will pull up a search pane, which is basically a Microsoft Edge lookup of your words that you've highlighted here. So you can easily browse the web for some more information on some components that you've typed out within your OneNote. Unfortunately, that is a feature that OneNote has over Loop. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think that Loop will replace OneNote in the future? Or do you currently just have a preference of one over the other? I would really like to know. Catch you next.